everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So in you, as you can see I've got the um, clipboard in my hand. Let's have a look at that. Absorption hopper. Okay, we went to the nether didn't we at the end of the last episode. Well I've been back a couple of times since then. Um, two reasons. One I wanted to get some more um, blaze rods. So I went there and got small blaze rods and got killed about twice. <laughs> and then I also wanted to get uh, make some tunnels so I could get to the other base easier so we'll have a look at that maybe this episode or next episode i don't know which so we'll have a look at we'll make the absorption hopper first i think so what we need for that is blaze powders so we've got a blaze, wrong one try again so we get a blaze rod out of here like this i'm going to put the clipboard somewhere for now so where should we put the oh, I'll, do it. No, I'll do it down like this and if you look at the uses of this you can basically, if you self-craft it, you get two blaze powders. You can use it as fuel, and it spells 12 items. You can crush it. Now that will be, now that's in the, the uh, immersive engineering crusher. So you get four blaze powders and 50% chance of sulfur dust. You can put it on a, crus um, a crushing table and you get five. And also you can put it into the grinder. That, uh, from for uh, magnetic craft and then you get four plus fifty percent chance of sulfur same as basically the other one so i thought well, let's start with this one shall we now how's my health it's not too bad okay good put it down there i'm going to get a bit nearer to this water because i'm going to need it <laughs> as you bash this thing you set on fire <laughs> so i think we're all right now uh, yep yep uh, get in that water before i die right okay so i've gone down a lot Oh. Can I get out of the water? Oh, that's it. Right, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I got, I got ten blaze powders. So I'm going to recover my health, and we'll have a look at that. So we need to make an absorption up. So I've got, I can get the end of pearls. I think I didn't make that. Oh my god! I wonder where that came from. Um, end of pearls, where are they? Got two. Actually, I've got a few more than that since then. As you will see in a few seconds. So what we want to do is we want to make an absorption hopper. So that is at mob grounding utilities, isn't it? And it's this one. So we need three pieces of uh, one iron, three pieces of obsidian, and a hopper. So the hopper's no big deal. Let's do the hopper first. I think I've got this out. No, actually, I've got some stuff prepared for different pieces. I'm going to make another chest. My wood's going down fast. Oh, I shall get some iron out of the system. I'll make a quick hop up. Like that. And what we need is three pieces of obsidian and an under eye. Well, an under eye is no big deal. And then we're going to use the rest of these for doing um, for uh, blast furnace bricks. Does want me brain? Three, right? Three of those. I need three. I'm not sure what the other one's for. I have probably got a reason for it. Actually, let's have. I need to get three more out. Let's get three more out of here. And so we should be able to make the hopper like that. Fantastic. I also want to make this inhibitor here. The end. It, Inhibitor, so it should be able to do that because close to well, let's get the bits ready for this. So, we're going to get the other end of pearl. Probably should have picked up two at the same time, shouldn't I? Uh, I can't remember, it's just this one here. I'm not, we'll find out in a second why I'm thinking about doing this, but I'm not sure I need to, to be honest with you. So, we need some glowstone. We'll do that in a minute. And what else do we need for this soon? But it's this one. I don't know how to activate it either, so we'll have a look at that. Two pieces of iron and one piece of redstone. One piece of redstone and some glowstone. Now, I did actually get some glowstone from the nether, but I've used it. We'll kind of look at that. We're going to look at that now and see why. I might, I might as well make up the end drive while I'm thinking about it. Oh, the eye of ender while I'm thinking about it. It's shapeless crafting, so I can press W on that. 
and it looks like it's night time indeed it is so gosh my health's really bad <laughs> i think sleeping's important i also made as you could just look through the window there i also made some um, armor stands because i decided to put some armor on those right three and a three and a half hearts that's wonderful yeah want to go this way i've tidied this up uh, actually quite a lot as it happens and i've put in some doors and i've also put in some passageways so now I've basically got <laughs> so when it's up it's off when it's active so it looks like it could be on but it's actually off and it's a path and it's just basically straight straightforward vanilla redstone that goes right down there and you turn it on and then and then it's inactive like that because at the end of that there's a redstone torch but it negates it and if you have a look in here which you can't see at the moment but you can see there's some drops let's go up here actually i'll turn that back on again while i'm thinking about it it's actually been quite a long time since i've been here i've got some redstone lamps i'll put them down here so we can see and you'll notice i'm using jack-o-lanterns almost exclusively everywhere <laughs> because they don't produce any pollution which is fantastic i'm also going to go around here and turn off the fans because <laughs> if i don't turn off the fans the chance of dying is fairly high i need to turn off these two So now we should be able to see in here, we should be able to see if I can get to the right position now. If I do shift, yes you can. You can't see it. Oh yes, you can see it now. You can see the mob crusher just through there with the blue light. I should turn it off. Um, like that, it's, it's rotating. Now it's doing its funny thing, juggling thing. So we can open that up and you can see what I've done. Basically, I'll press shift to go across these. In these fans here, I've got three fans. I've made that. I've made it this time. I've made it 15 by 15. So right-click that. So we've got three. This one's got three width upgrades in it, which is the maximum. So that gives you basically seven block. And I've increased the distance for this by two. Let's show area. And you'll see it basically takes it all the way up to here. Picking up some bits and pieces there too. So as you can see, it's picking all the way up to this. Um, conveyor belt or the entity conveyor belt this one alone here will just do the two extra so it'll go right up to the top there which i think and this obviously it's the same for the it's the same for the other one at the back as well here in fact it's actually not dark enough for mobs not to spawn spawn on this one at the moment. so we should shift and go across this and it's the same as done here on these but this one only needs to be one distance and the reason I've done this too wide is because of spiders. Spiders coming along here need to have a little bit of extra space. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Um, you'll see what's happened in a second. So I'll turn that off. Hide the area again. I'll go back and turn the lights off and think, well, I don't need this anymore because that was just a place, a placeholder. Have we got any space to pick it up with? No. I'll leave it there for the second. Yeah, I'll have to leave it there. Close the door and then we'll put the fans back on again. Turn it on. We'll have to go upstairs and turn the lights off. I should make this a bit better, but I don't really ever go into that. It's just for main it was just for maintenance purposes and just to see what was going on. In fact, I'm not even sure I need it on to be to be honest with you at the moment anyway. So I think we've just got to turn these hoppers these fans on at the back, haven't I? So we now need to go downstairs and see where the where the catchment area is. And I have actually built an absorption hopper here. That's the one thing I did do between episodes. And here I've got some chests. And <laughs> they're full. <laughs> and that's the loot I've been getting. Oh, I did actually have done this one as well. And you can't see. I should have looked at the, um, the grinder. I put in a looting upgrade or 10 looting upgrades into the grinder. So in here, obviously this one's full, as you can see, uh, and there's not much I can take out of here. I don't think I can take out of here at all. 
no but we get things like solve which is great um, I'm gonna have to put this down and put something in this chest up here otherwise I'm stuck aren't I so let's put in here what did I pick up actually I don't know if I picked up iron now that can go in the bottom one I think I've got yeah got iron in the bottom one space for iron in the bottom one uh, and then what else have I got in here um don't know really so I've got too much stuff but we're also getting from witches we're getting glowstone dust so that that's what I needed the glowstone for as you can see and they're also dropping redstone so if I got redstone elsewhere I might have I got plenty of ender pearls now don't need to worry about those for a while as you can see oh yeah I just got those three I think I might have used some or taken it out by accident so as you can see I've got a lot of stuff I'll have to come back and sort this out because it's all stuck there in this hopper and of course this tank is full I've got no way of getting it out at the moment so I think that the um, mob grinder is being relatively successful and the next thing I'd like to show you is the next one I've been building because we're supposed to have a um, I think it's supposed to be a slime chunk down here Build a little bridge to go around here oh you'll notice something else I wanted to show you this at all <laughs> you see I've got this re diamond respirator on and I was one time I was getting a bit thirsty I was going I need to drink I need to drink and I do need to drink but you can't you can't drink and you can't eat when you've got the respirator on you have to take the respirator off to be able to drink or eat and I haven't got yes I can do that put the helmet on instead we don't need the respirator that was just for demonstrations so now we can drink so that's an important thing it took me a while to figure it out I nearly very nearly died of thirst so here we've got these pollution blocks I th and I've got on here the diamond black vacuum bag this is the third one I'm just going to soak these up by the way so if I get in the thing I think they will soak up should have done by now strange maybe they don't exist maybe they're just pretend blocks let's just see if they're pretend blocks or not put one down if it is a pretend block that won't move yeah it normally moves so they obviously don't exist these two blocks I think it's just a visual bug so I've come down here I've put down steps I've, I've lit up the area and down here I've made a flat area and I've put in it some uh, punji sticks now this is supposed to be a slime area so slimes don't care about light so that's why we can do this in fact I can suck up this stuff up here while I'm thinking about it because that's why I made the bag in the first place and you can see it's actually there's different levels of darknesses of these things so this is a dark one and when you suck this it takes about three goes and the third the, th the level three ones are fatal <laughs> I haven't died from those yet. We've got blindness and all sorts of rubbish from there. Is there anything in there? No, good. Don't know I've got a hole in that, to be honest with you. I shouldn't have one. So we, um, what I was going to do is so I'm going to put down the absorption up, but I think I'll come back later on at some other stage and put um, that down here and see if we actually pick up anything at all. Hopefully we will. Let's see the small stuff to vacuum up over here, isn't there? This, this was the barrel mine and as you can see I left lots of torches in there not expecting to come down here again I'm just wondering if they're actually affecting it in fact because I haven't seen any slimes at all in this bag it doesn't mean they don't exist I know there is rare as endermen so but I would have expected to see one or two oh, that's not the one over there look. In the time I made the, in the time I was doing the video, and the downstairs it just goes down to bedrock, and I think I've got some lava down here too. Now the lava, of course, could well, could well be producing uh, smog or pollution, but I'm not going to go and do any more down there today. Just wanted to clear the pollution. Uh oh, can't get up there. But I do have this block with me. I haven't finished doing the steps. I really do need to finish doing the steps.
good sound actually when you run up the steps and it's still daytime it's coming up to night time there are quite often there are mobs around here so I have to sort those out from time to time this area I've probably got to change as well to light that up with something else because it does cause the pollution is dreadful So you've seen how surprisingly effective that mob farm is. I didn't expect it to be. Oh, and the next thing. Do you remember? Oh, maybe you don't. I, this thing blew up and turned into 27 blocks of lava, which in fact is what it is, you see. It's one, two, three, three high by three by three. It's 27. And I'd already, dis I'd basically disabled it. So what I did, I did it like this and then formed it, yes. And then I, then I set these going here so that the, the mirror is pointed to it. In fact, it's night time. I better have a quick sleep. And then I broke it. And the idea was when I broke it, it would just turn off. See, now the mirrors are pointing to this. And the temperature in here will be going up. So what I did is I broke it like this. I take a pick. And I thought, oh, that's not going to do anything. But the mirrors don't break. You have to break it properly. <laughs> and then the mirrors go flat. So if you don't break it properly, it turned into a bunch of lava again so I wasn't too happy about that I could tell you I, so I didn't make bother making the things again I just cheated some more <laughs> I just cheated it in again I was going fed up with that I shouldn't have done that that was a bug so let's have a look at this clipboard again where did I put it ah oh, it's here oh yes we want to make the, the hopper don't we the end of, end of inhibitor inhibitor this one so just two pieces of iron and I guess this needs a redstone signal let's have a look at it shall we Ooh. oh well, that looks interesting doesn't it I don't have to use no talk to break it by hand so we can go and put this on top of the mob masher and I think the top of the mob masher will do the trick I'm on the wrong side of this so we go I'm gonna have to turn everything off again of course and light it all up so I'll tell you what if I don't you see it's already been busy that was um, empty the last time we were here wasn't it in fact I don't need to do both halves of that so I just put the lights on so that the mobs aren't going to, they're not going to spawn so but at least I can see what I'm doing when I'm down there so that should be on yep that's on then it's act deactivated so we can open the door oh there's been quite a few skeletons and whatever else so I've got a feeling I can put this on top of that like that no no oh yes that's right so there's the looting upgrades those are the only ones I put into it just kind of not shift right click it on the top of that no I can't tell you what we'll do we'll put it on behind these there and I guess that's going to do the trick <laughs> with XP you see then we get to this point here that's the, the key point you always come to this point including spiders and they get pushed onto that works a treat <laughs> as you saw it really does work a treat we'll just turn this back on again and then go and turn off the lights I might be able, until I've got maybe I'll leave the lights on for the time being I know I'll tell you what I'll do I'll turn it off and turn off the lights and then it can be a an area where the mobs spawn and they can always stay stuck there and it'll basically disable other mobs spawning in different areas because there are limits of course to these things I'm going to have to find a way of emptying that out and bringing this stuff over here 
So that's it. Next problem, storage. Storage is a pain in the bum, bum at the moment. Definitely a pain in the bum. It's just too much of it. So what I've done is I've got the book here. Ah, I've got too much stuff. Let me just get... Oh, I've got 16 in the pulse with me. Let's just go and put these away somewhere. Let's get rid of everything we can in there and then put the end of pulls away in here. I think it's a problem. Yeah, it is. What else have we got on here that we can get rid of? I do need some more leather, I think. So we'll take some leather when we're here. You see, I've been basically getting the fish. The advantage of fishing, fishing is you can cook the fish, and with a cooked fish, you can then turn it to leather. So 14 of those, I've got 13 fish. So that will just about fill up this. And that will turn into leather for us. We need, surprisingly, how much leather I have been using as a tap and so We've got the leather, I'll put the leather into here, I think. Yeah, 21. And as you can see, I'm also putting plasters in there, but they, they don't stack, so they're a bit, and this one's got another one in here, it's got a bandage from Rough Tweaks. A good drop, I'm quite happy about them getting dropped, I must be honest with you. <laughs> They've got some more in here, I've got them everywhere, as it happens. Uh, <clears throat> right, so, I wanted to build a shelving unit, didn't I? Now, in the book, which is here, I've got to go back and get the book, of course, that's why I came over here in the first place, I forgot. I usually carry it with me. Yep. I actually added in here the rustic almanac as well because I think that's supposed to have been in there in the first place. And we want the magnetic craft manual. And they've got basically multi blocks. And one of the multi blocks we've got is a shelving unit. So it's a big storage multi block that offers searchable facilities and expands, can be expanded to 648 slots. Sounds like a pretty good thing, doesn't it? So it's got three levels of stuff and you can place it in it. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So we basically right click it with chests so we need 29 I think they're in here yes we do 20 iron iron grids and grates and one shelving unit and some chests and I'm going to set it up in here I'm not sure this is the best place because I'm not actually in here that often but I'm going to start it in here anyway so we'll put this down like this is that right I think yes that's right I think it's only two blocks back hopefully so it really fills up this area so we got I think gone so too far that one got one extra on the end here just to dig it back and then we can fill in the rest of this that was 15 yeah exactly One of the easier multi blocks, well, it would be one of the easier blocks if I got it in the right place, wouldn't it? To build. So there we have our shelving unit. You right click the, the, the blueprint block and you get the shelving unit. So what do you do with that now? You just take some chests and right click on here. And as you can see, actually, it puts in all five in here. So when you right click this, then here, you get this interface. So you've got different rows. So basically that's the second shelf unit and this is the third shelf unit. So at the moment I've only got the um, chest on the bottom shelf. I thought it was only going to take four, but it's obviously going to take eight at least. And they look quite cool, don't they? So then you can start putting things in here. For example, we can put in whatever we want to. Um, arrows I think I'll keep elsewhere, but that. So then you can start to set a search for this. So blaze, for example, oops. And then you can find your items. In fact, I'll take those with me. So I think that's going to be a pretty nice way of storing stuff in this pack. Because the best one I've found so far, I think. I thought that was in the middle. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm talking about the, uh, the jack uh, jack o' lantern. I thought that one was in the middle of this wall. It isn't, though. Anyway. I also got a horse when I was out 
and train the horse you just right click it and jump on it until it until it until it gives you a heart and then you're all right you can put a saddle on it then you can ride it away but it's not very easy around here to do that so let's have a look at my clipboard again so we've done this we've done this we've had a look at that one fire resistance electric poles hydraulic press shelving and we've done that one blast furnace so i've talked about that one again <laughs> Um, and we've done a looting upgrade and the aqua sprint aqua sprinter that's aqua mundo sp sprinkle is what I wanted to say I think now the recipe for the sprinkler is fairly straightforward how much time I forgot okay it's this one so it's basically one piece of hose green dye and three pieces of wool not exactly mine challenging and so we've got I built one already as you can see got we've got the desalination tank and the um well, they're going the wrong place from before anyway so that sense we're okay I've got hoses here and then I've got tanks I've got two tanks I think I need to go and put one away now what I've been using these for I'll just have a check it looks like it's coming to night time you'll see a great big tower up here well I I went up there with a vacuum, just and went up there and just vacuumed up as much of the sky as I could. But I left that there because I hadn't finished. So I put some ladders up there to finish it off, I think. <laughs> so here I built a pumpkin farm, as you can see. Plenty of pumpkins, as it happens now. So let's go and knock these down. Use an axe for these. But pumpkins take a really long time to grow. But with the aqua, with the oh, I'll pick some sticks. I don't want to pick up my mind. But with a the sprinkler, they grow so fast that you can hardly keep up harvesting them. Uh, so I think it's time for a quick sleep again, as usual. Yeah, around about every ten minutes, we have to have a quick sleep. <laughs> And I can't pick up that because I've got too much stuff on me. But we'll soon sort that out. Um, what am I going to put down? I'll put the lever down for the time being, I think. So that the, the sprinkle I've been putting dead in the middle here. And so this is, I think it's seven, isn't it? Four. That's the sprinkler. So that should be about in the optimum position for everything. Let's put that down in place. Number six. And I say that and I press the number six button and then I can just be able to just put that onto there like that. So we now pick up sticks and we're putting the sticks down here like that. And I've got my thing back. Good. So next we put down the desalination boiler. So I can put the des I've see I've already prepared some scaffolding here for that. So I put the desalination boiler on top of the sticks. Then we've got the tank. We did this before desalination tank so it's not really a a big problem I think that's going the wrong way around it's going the wrong way because I put them the wrong way around that's the reason for that I'm using that to tell you let's try that again tank goes there boiler goes there and the sticks then go there shift right clicking those in of course so we just need to put a tank so I put the tank up here I'm not sure which tank I've got here. Let me just check. One of them should be empty. The problem with the tanks is they do break. Like that. <laughs> and they shouldn't do. And that one's okay, but that's actually already got in it water. Can I pick that water up? Is there enough in there for a bucket? Oh, there is. Good. Right, I've got three buckets of... Oh, they're just water buckets. Okay, good. Then I can use this tank. So I put the bucket, a tank up there and then I can put the buckets in it later on and then we can put the hoses down. That's why I've built this frame here. So if I right click the frame it will automatically jo join up. And the same is true here. If I right click, I think it's this block here or is it, do I have to go underneath here? I think I have to go, so I have to get it onto that. Oh, it's difficult. Yeah, there we go. So I hit the wooden block there at the bottom. Now, 
So we just give this some water now. We got some water here, that's great. <laughs> One of the tanks had distilled water in it, that's why I was. So it, this bow would you keep going like that? And while that's doing that, let's just light those few sticks. There are only six sticks in there, it's not very many really. So I'll just light those and get get the system going faster. And we'll keep filling it this tank with water like that. And as soon as it starts to, to work, it works like crazy. I think it's about 16 buckets we can get in here, so it takes a while. And just let it run. And of course we need lots of pumpkins, we're making all these jack-o'-lanterns for lighting things up. I'll do the rest of this off camera, but I don't think it's sprinkling yet. Oh yeah, it's finished now. See now it's just, you saw it sprinkle then. Wait a second or two and it'll sprinkle again. And the whole area should get covered like that. And very shortly we'll see one or two of these pumpkins producing pumpkins. Uh, hopefully it's the right time of year. I'm not sure where the pumpkins are um, seasonal. It doesn't tell you here if the... that's the wrong one. It doesn't tell you if it's seasonal or not. It might well be seasonal, I'm not sure. If it is seasonal it'll be autumn time. That will be the correct time for that. As you can hear the chickens are busy. And I can actually stand on this, so that, therefore I can stand up and jump on upon the wall and walk around the wall. In fact, I've got too much stuff already. Oh, I did get pick up the, the feathers. Well, that's the important bit. Don't care about the eggs. <laughs> They're getting voided off anyway. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these. As you can see, I've got some. Um, feathers in here. I haven't quantified those. Let me just get my key and quantify those. I think I moved the quantify key. It's that one, isn't it? Fifty-nine feathers. Good. Hundred I haven't even bring bring. I've bought a little bit of stuff over from the other side, but not too much yet. So we'll have to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this stuff into the to the storage drawers over there. So we'll be in a better place. Oh, that's already turned into leather, is it great? And is there anything I can't get rid of? Yes, the next thing we want to do is make the blast bricks. I'll do the rest of this off camera because you can tell by my health that it's not too great. Actually, I might have enough. So let's have a look at the uses of these. Because then what we need to do is make blast bricks. Oh, I've got. No I've actually got one more, I just need one more. Can we stand one more worth of fire? That's the question. Tell you what, let's have a risk it. If I get another, actually I should be able to walk. Can I walk into that easily? Yes I can, good. It'd be sensible to put this up one, wouldn't it? And I can hit it from above. But uh, let's just try going with the A key, I think. Up to it. Right, I'll get ready. <laughs> I did it this time, good. So we've got our five. So that is enough to do the blast furnace bricks. Let's just do the recipe for that one and just click it in. And we got one more. So that's our 27. So that means I can make the blast furnace. Let's go and do the blast furnace because that is something I really do want to do because we need steel. And one of the things we could do, I think, to get rid of the excess heat is to use the thermopile, but we'll come to that later on. I don't need this here. Maybe I'll put the rest of the blaze rods through the machine. It's probably easier than doing it this way. <laughs> A lot easier. I need the hammer. This one here. Good. So I've made a bit of space, prepared a little area for us. And I'm probably thinking about getting rid of this farmland here. I don't need that. So I move the um, the cactus back a bit there so we get rid of stuff over here. And I think that so I think it's somewhere here will do fine. So let's just put it down here for the time being. So it's three by three by three. Let's just stand up there. We can get your third block up and you're alright, you can do the whole lot then. You can 
can just stand up here and just do that. Or you better starting at the top and working your way down. And then we just need the hammer. Right, click the middle bit. And we've got one blast furnace. Fantastic. So we've got plenty of coke coal in here already. Six blocks of that. So we can put that into here straight away. And then we can take some iron. We've probably got plenty of iron actually. Let's do a stack. stack of iron over here we've got some more fish to go and put up on the thing to get some more leather so that will work away making some steel for us so the, th the one I want to do next is this one I'll get the book out and we can have a look at that one the magnetic craft one we look at generators so we've done the shelving units that pretty, looks pretty decent uh, machines, generators, thermopile. So this is the one that you can use to produce energy for the temperature difference. Um, well, I haven't built one yet, so I'll have a look at that when we build one. Now, we need one piece of steel for that because the thermopile. We have a look at the recipes for thermopile. So we need. Um, what I was looking at here is pollution. There should be a filter in pollution, and I don't see it. There's a block that looks like a chimney and it's a filter one. So what we want is magnetic craft. And we want thermopile. Where's it going to? This one. So we need one machine block and four pieces of steel, four copper plates. That's not such a big deal. We've done lots of those before. But the four pieces of steel are going to be a bit of difference. And when you put this down, I think you just make it put one side you put cold and the other side you put hot and in the middle you take the power out now one of the hots can be the output from here because what it generates is heat so you can basically put it out so I'm going to do that I'll, I think it takes steel takes quite a long time to do so I'm not going to do it this episode but maybe we'll do that next episode right we've already got our first piece of steel as it happens and then we can improve that of course over time the other thing I want to do, we're going to save that also for next episode, and that is Rustic's, um, well I have actually got a blaze rod now, so we could actually make a brewing stand, but if we don't have a brewing stand, let's have a look at this, I've got it in here, I think I've got it, so we've done the blast furnace, I'll do, I want to look at that, those, we'll have to do those next time. And the Aqua Sprint Club, Aquamunda Sprinter, we've done that one as well. So we've got quite a bit done in this episode. Uh, so, anyway, I think that's possibly it for today. So, oh look, you can see the mobs on the little mini map there. <laughs> They're all jumping around in the middle. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.